it's Ty Book and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a haul from my all-time favorite, Yes Style. So we have clothing, we have some makeup, and maybe we'll do some fun little photo shoots outside to show off the clothes a little bit. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you can't haven't already noticed, I've done my hair and makeup a little bit differently from usual. I'm embracing the front bang. I usually have my bangs off to the side, but I thought this look, to re look required the front bang, you know? They still kind of like split down the middle, but you know. And then I did my makeup. I looked up kind of like the Korean trend of makeup right now because I got Korean makeup that I wanted to like use so I wanted it to kind of like fit what the trend is over there and sometimes I forget that I'm Asian I'm Filipino so when I was doing the makeup I was like wow I look so different and it's like no I've just been doing my makeup in the western style this style actually kind of flatters my features a little bit better so that was very interesting to me so I am using I have on the products already from yes style but I'm gonna be talking about them with you guys so I think the most important product and this is a product I've never ever tried before is glitter liner let's see if we can get that to focus no we cannot but this is glitter liner from the brand peripera it's called Sugar Twinkle Liquid Glitter, and I got the shade 01, and I think the shade 01 is Glitter Wave. So it just comes in this cute little tube here, and when you untwist it, it's like a little brush. It's kind of like a make, uh, like a nail polish brush almost, but just smaller, and then it has uh, glitter in like, kind of like a, it's already able to like stick I would kind of say it's kind of like a lip gloss if that makes sense like it's kind of like a lip gloss kind of texture but it has glitter chunks in there so I put the glitter underneath my eye like how I saw on Pinterest and then on my lid um that's how I saw it most commonly used um with the glitter liner I know there are like other funner ways maybe to do it but this is what I saw in like the trending pictures so that's what I tried to emulate then for my lips, I have two lip products I got from YesStyle, but I can only put one on my lips, you know? So the one I'm wearing right now is the Juicy Lasting Tint Mini. I think this is one of their collaborations because it's from Rome and. And this is what it looks like. It has a cute little bear on it. And it's very mini, very mini. I wanted to try a whole bunch of the Rome and uh, lip products, but... I don't need a whole bunch of lip products, so I was trying to be conscientious in my purchasing habits. So I got a mini one and a full size one. So this is the mini one. It's just a cute little yellow tube, and it's in the shade 20 Dark Coconut. So that's what I have on my lips right now. It's kind of like a tint and a gloss. I don't know if it's a stain. I think it's kind of staining and I don't know if I was just having maybe a little tiny bit of an allergic reaction but it kind of like tingled my lips a bit a little bit so I don't know if this had plumping properties in it or if I'm just a little bit allergic but I like it <laughs> this is actually my first time using this one I've used this one before so the this one I'm talking about is the Rome and it is the see-through matte tint in the shade 08 Flo flower coral I usually open my products from the bottom because the top is usually sealed and I don't want to destroy the box before I do a video on it so this is it it's like in a really sleek packaging like it's a matte and I really like the design on it and this shade this is more of like a cream cream shade and let me just that is what the color is but it's really nice and soothing and it's like I don't know what it is about all these formulas but a lot of the Korean lip tints I've tried and like just the lipsticks in general from Korea I've tried they've been really like lightweight and long lasting and just smooth like I don't feel it at all but then my lips look lips look amazing I was like what do they know that Western makeup does not know because this is amazing so I got a little bit of ahead of myself because I forgot to tell you when I got these hauls. Um, um, <laughs> so these are two separate orders here. The first order, I'm co combining the haul by the way. The first order I got on Black Friday in 2021. But then I was going to film the video 
in December maybe, but then I got my head injury so I wasn't able to do anything for a while. And then I got another order for my birthday in March. So these are gonna be two separate orders. They kind of have like a different vibe to them. This was from the first order and I didn't get any makeup in the second order. So the first order is more kind of like everyday wear with some edginess, kind of like there's corset in it and pants. So that's more just like everyday sort of stuff, trying to fill my closet with ba basics and essentials. And then my second order was like, I want to be a princess. I got like two princess dresses. I got kind of like a medieval sort of, um, what is it called? sort of corset but like it's the straps and goes underneath the bust and then I got like a really pretty corset poof shirt so I'm gonna be showing you guys all that now I, it may be kind of like mixed because I have the clothing already integrated into my closet but just keep in mind these are two separate orders that I've combined over a series of time <laughs> so I will show you guys that now bye hello wall long time no see there's been some few additions but that's not important right now. So we're continuing the Yes Style haul. So this is one of the tops I got. It's a really nice kind of compression top. I love, love, love the straps are straight instead of like going around my neck. I kind of don't like it when it does that, but I like the straight sort of it. And I like the silhouette it kind of gives. Is that the silhouette? The shape it gives. So it's nice compression. It came with padding here, but I didn't really like it. So I just took the padding out, which is nice. So it kind of uh, separates into two here. So this is kind of like where the bra part is. And then it just kind of compresses down here. It's a crop top sort of thing, but I like it a lot. And I got it in two colors and I wear this all the time. They have more color options. So I don't know, I may go back for more, but this is a really, really great top. I love it. I love how comfortable it is too, and it can be like an exercise top if you want, but I usually just wear it for like casual wear. And I usually don't get brown clothes, but I've been breaking that, so I've been getting more brown clothes, and I've been loving it. I Brown compliments me! I don't know why I've been avoiding it for so long. Okay, next, next product. Okay, so this is the same top, but it's in a light green color. I don't know how well you can see the green of it, but I really like it. I don't know, I've already said I really liked it, but I was kind of worried that this green would be see-through, because usually lighter colors um, are more see-through, but since the lining is so thick on this, it's completely fine. Unless this ring light is making it not completely fine. But yeah. So I got it in two colors and it's one of my favorite tops. So I've kind of had a thing about swirly designs like this for a while now. This came in a few different color choices. At the time when I got this, I had blue hair so it kind of just made sense to get the blue option. I really like the design of it. Um, but I think the cut here is where I have a problem because for some reason it chafes against my arm and I don't know why. It's just like where the seam is, is I guess exactly where my arm rubs so it gets really uncomfortable. And I mean the way the straps are, you can't really wear a bra with it because the straps for your bra would go like right there. So it's, um, I like the design of it a lot but I don't like the way it was cut. I mean, it's kind of just like a regular racer back tank top, but I don't know if it's the material or something because it's a ribbed material. It's nice and thick and stretchy, but the seams, I don't know if it's because the seams are ribbed that it's irritating me, but just something about it does not agree with my skin. I've worn it once out in public and it didn't really work out that well. I was really uncomfortable. Not because of the way I looked, just the way I was feeling on my armpits. So that's my only if and a but about this shirt. I love the way it looks on me though. Maybe I just have to wear it over like a, a sleeved shirt or something. I don't know. I don't know how I would style that. I'd have to figure it out. Okay, this shirt, you can tell I got it around Halloween time because of the skeleton design. But I don't know. I really... 
I know some people may think, oh, that's kind of morbid. I can see your skeleton. But look it, you can also see my heart. Isn't that cute? I think it's so cute. And like it displays the heart a little bit. I think it came in a couple of other different colors. But this shirt is just so unbelievably soft. Uh, I, <laughs> I can't describe how much I love it. I'm wearing a kind of like a cami underneath it. I don't know how see-through it is on the, the ladies. But you can see the straps in the back of it. But it's also kind of like a cropped top length. It just ends right below my belly button. So that's kind of how long it is. I like the length of the sleeves. The sleeves don't irritate me. So that's nice. Can lift up and I still have the peak. But you know, what can you do about that? I just like it. I like it a lot. I actually haven't worn this out though. I don't know. I think it's a problem with trying to find something to wear it with because my first go-to would probably be wearing it with black pants but maybe that'd be a little bit too edgy. I don't know. I, I like the look of clothes but then I don't know how to style it. So like I can, I'm good at picking out, okay that looks good but how do I wear it? So that's where my dilemma is. This next product I'm just going to show on top of this because it's a corset. Kind of like a sheer so you can see the ribbing and it just goes underneath the boob. But I got the wrong size. Or maybe I grew into it. Am I the right size for it now? No way. I mean, that's kind of sad because that means I filled out more. But it actually is kind of nice because then I can actually wear it. So I don't know. I don't know how to feel if this actually fits now. Should I feel sad or happy? Oh my god, it fits now. I mean, it fits in the sense that it fits around me, but it doesn't cinch, you know? It doesn't, like, take in my figure at all. But... I can actually wear it now. This is kind of high. These, on this right here, that's kind of, like, right in my armpit. Obviously, I haven't worn this before because I thought it didn't fit. When I first got it, it didn't fit, but I guess... From November to now, I've gained weight. It's okay, I'm a woman. <laughs> but yeah, it fits. <laughs> so it just goes right in between the girls, wrap around the girls. Oh my god, I bet this, this actually looks kind of cute like this. Mm. Oh, and with the skirt, this will look like... Uh, I figured out how to style this shirt, guys. I'm like going through an emotional journey here. You know? <laughs> what it is, what it do. How are you? You can see my heart through my rib cage. Okay, the next items are dresses. Oh, I have one more shirt, actually. I'll be right back. Now I'm kind of scared that the rest of my clothes aren't going to fit properly. This is a top I got when I thought the corset wouldn't fit. And now I'm trying to put myself in it, but I don't know if it's going to work. At least the sides are stretchy, so I can close it. We just got a little cute gap there. And I'm wearing a kind of like a cami top. What are these called? A bralette. To, um... Show, save some modesty on YouTube. I really hope I don't rip it. But look at, this goes all the way down there. That's a big boo bum look. If I didn't have this on, my goodness, the girls would be popping. And then it has a little tie here. So you kind of just see the, <gasps> that was Mika. That scared me, Mika. She better not start drinking water. She does exactly that. The Beast has decided to stay for the show. But I really like this top. You know, it actually kind of corsets me in. These ribbings aren't real. They're not metal in here. There's not metal in here. It's just kind of like stitching to insinuate there's some ribbing in there. But this is really nice. It's stretchy. The bottom is stretchy. This is stretchy. This part, not really, but I think that's kind of good so it doesn't kind of slip off. I guess I could also do an off-the-shoulder sort of look. 
That's cute. This comes in white and black. I originally got it in white because I thought the other corset wouldn't fit. And I had this really nice pink skirt, but it doesn't fit anymore. But I had a pink skirt that I was going to wear this with. But this is really nice. These ties actually are kind of really long, though. So, I don't know. Maybe you just kind of tuck them in somewhere. But, yeah, this is adorable. I'm going to get it in the black, I think. Love, I love the sleeves. I'm in like a poofy sleeve phase right now, but I rarely find the sort of sleeves I actually like better for a reasonable price. That's why I love Yes Style, because it has a lot of styles for me in my price range. <laughs> so apparently this dress is a dupe for something that is on Urban Outfitters. Um, I don't think I've actually seen it on Urban Outfitters, but that's what all the reviews said on this. The sleeves... I thought we were going to be a little bit looser and flowy. Maybe I'm just not the right size. I, I need to get off that, that narrative. Maybe, I don't know. I don't really like the sleeves that much. They're kind of irritating my underarms already, which is kind of sad. And the skirt isn't too bad. Whoop. Lengthwise. Let me get up here. Covers the boots. But like, yeah, it's the respectable length. It's above the knees, covers the boot. What more can you ask? The It has like a underskirt part and then the plaid, which is nice. I don't know, I may take the sleeves off. They're kind of irritating me. And if they're irritating me already, imagine what it's gonna be like walking. Oh, I can feel it already, I don't like it. I like the design of it, but the sleeves are a no. The sleeves are a no for me. When I saw this dress, I was immediately reminded of Bridgerton. And then the pictures of the girl wearing this dress in like a flower field or like a meadow or something just absolutely sold me. Um, I think I need to like take it in just a tiny bit, but like it, it's like fits perfectly. I kind of stretched a stitch when I was putting it on because I was trying to avoid my makeup, but you know, it's okay. I will, I will show you guys a video of this, of me in a field in my backyard, so you can see the full length and prettiness of the dress. But it has this sheer sort of flower cover on it and then the actual green flower design. It's very pretty. I love the sleeves where you've got the poofy sleeves. The bottom is kind of, let me just pull this up so you can see. It has like a extra detail so you can see a little bit more of a flow. So I like this. I'm so happy it actually fits. I can't wait to run through my backyard in it. So yeah, I will show you guys that soon. Next dress is the purple beauty that I was going to wear for my birthday. This is the birthday dress. But my rib cage is too big. Because it's not the girls, it's the rib cage. Right here. If I breathe out too much, oh boy, I'm choking a little bit. If I breathe out too much, it fills it in entirely. That's the only problem with these Yes Style clothes is because they're, um, they're made to fit sort of smaller bodies, so to speak. Some of them are one size fits all and this was one of the one size that fits all, but obviously it doesn't fit all. But I can still wear it, I just can't breathe in it. I guess that kind of fits the style. So up on the stand we have the sheer sleeves. I wouldn't wear it with the um, bralette, but it's kind of nice. I'm just sad that it doesn't fit properly. It has the sheer and then the skirt. And I will show you guys this in a field. Let's complete the picture at least so I don't feel as sad. The crown. I don't know, should I do it properly? There. It's itchy too. I don't know, it's not. It's not giving what it's supposed to give, but I mean, it was like only $40 or something, so whatever. So, um, I was going to show you this piece now, but I dropped the string in Mika's water bowl, so I'll just show it to you guys when I'm outside. I dropped like more than half of the string in there when I was trying to lace it up, but this is kind of like, ooh, this actually kind of looks good together. It's kind of given. It's kind of given what this was supposed to give on its own. Okay. Anyways, this is another underbust corset, but I I was like debating between this and a another sort this dress and another dress, but the other one was kind of more like a peasant style, medieval style, and I wanted to be a princess, so my mom encouraged me to get this one. 
it's nice, but it doesn't fit right. But anyways. So this was my compromise. It's because then I could add this to any piece. And then because it's like a brown sort of like... It's not suede and it's not exactly velvet. It's like kind of something in between. So I got this so I could use it for a bunch of other pieces. I was going to use it on my strawberry dress. But I can... Oh my, it's not even a strawberry dress, it's a rose dress. There are little tiny roses on it. Anyways, but I thought this might have looked well on it, but now that the corset fits, I can use that corset. But this, I bet I could use with a ton of pieces. I could also make it look kind of western, stylish. But yeah, so those are the items. The next segment will be me in a field fulfilling my flower princess fairy dreams. I'm satisfied with most of the things I got. This is just the most disappointing one. I mean, if I leave it, I can't even leave it unzipped because I can't unzip it. But leave, ooh, leaving it unzipped doesn't really even help that much. And because the sleeves are chafy, this is kind of just like a picture outfit. Which, I mean, that's kind of what I intended it for anyways. But it would have been nice if I could have used it for whatever I wanted. I forgot that I had pants. So I'm going to be showing you these pants angled downwards because I can't really stand up tall enough for it, you know? Um, for a while now, I've been trying to upstyle or elevate my clothes because for the most part, I've just been wearing exercise clothes or pajamas during this entire pandemic. But then I really fell in love with the style of like um, slacks. I'll show you the type of pants I'm talking about, kind of like... Kind of like dark academia, light academia sort of style, but then like you can either dress it down with like a graphic tee or you can dress it up with like a collared shirt and stuff. So I really like the versatility of that, but finding these style of pants that first complement my shortness and my body figure and are a reasonable price was hard. So I was really happy when I found these. These are a little bit too small for me, but I really like the cut and like the shape of them. I just wish they would come in a bigger size. I think this is a large in a their sizes, but it's not a large in American sizes. I really like the way I look though. So these are the black pants I got. These are the gray ones. These fit a lot better. They, I like the way it has like, it's not just right in the middle of the button. You kind of like go over. So I like that a lot. I don't know why. I don't know if it like adds anything, but I like the way it looks. So I like the cut of these two. I heard that um, wider pants are better for short people because it makes them look taller. I don't know, what do you think? No back pockets though. Front pockets, but nothing back there. And these are the brown ones, the brown green ones. I have to wear these with a the belt because they're a little bit big, but honestly, these kind of fit the best out of all of them because they're all high-waisted, I forgot to mention that. So trying to get it over the hips and the, the glutes is a little bit hard and then it's really tight on the waist. But I can wear these high-waisted too. I just have to belt them. And these are a little bit of a skinnier leg. Online, these looked really brown. But here, they kind of look like a... Kind of like a pukish. <laughs> it's not as pretty. But I figured out a way to work it. I just can't, like, think of it as brown. Brown is kind of a green brown. I have to remember that. But yeah, I like these. So that's all the pants.
So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoy that. I give myself hives doing that because my legs are sensitive. But um, go check out YesStyle. Use my code TYBUG123 for a discount. That helps me out and it helps you out. Um, I'll have everything listed down below and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe if you can, if you want to. Okay, love you. Bye.